Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. If you join us in the dam, we are on, what's, we call this part two, part two of Out with the Old. And we need to go and grab a drill from the other side of the map. I put the service station and we need to deliver that to the drill inside, surprisingly enough. So that's where we're going. We're in our White Western, we've just picked up the, uh, the five slot um, flatbed semi, I believe that's what this is called. Get some moves done. Now, this is the last of our is it Dyson Diesel. Show us the company that we're doing this job on. It's the last of their contracts. And then we've got some good jobs for uh, Husky Forwarder. After this, we will then unlock um, concrete. Uh, we, we have to deliver concrete from the quarry out to, I think, five or six different locations amongst the four maps. So the, there's that. We then have the super order, which is quite a lot of deliveries. There's a delivery to each map, and each one requires a multitude of products I guess to be delivered we have to gather them all up from across and then get ready to deliver that and then we've also or we will also have the uh, the loads from the uh, the shipwreck which is quite quite a tough one or well, I find it quite tough anyway it's not an easy one to get in and out of <laughs> without a load let alone when you've got a load on so yeah that's that's going to be one to look forward to for you guys, probably more than me. And then after those three jobs, we're then on to logging. Which, everyone knows is fun. The logging's always good. I don't think I've met a player that doesn't save it till last when, when they're working for a map. Um, some people, obviously, everyone's free to play as they like. Don't ever think that what I'm doing is the way to do it, or the way I think you're supposed to do it. <laughs> More often than not, what I'm doing is the way not to do it. Uh, but some people like to just, <laughs> and I do this on my console, so um, jump in, grab a grab a job, any map, do that job, have a little look around, grab another job. I, on my on my console save, I flit between, I currently flit in between here, um, Alaska, and Time Air, just because I don't want to go to a map that I've not gone to before. And, and sort of spoil it. So since I've completed Michigan many times, I've completed Alaska a few times, and I'm on time air with my stream series playthrough, I'm happy to go between those three maps and just do whatever I like. Then once we hit uh, our next map, uh, that'll, that'll be on the uh, live stream series way before here, we'll... Um, I'll then uh, allow myself to do some jobs on that on my console save, because I'll have, excuse me, I will have opened it up and, and done some things, so I'll have seen a bit of it. But I don't want to ever get ahead of any of my uh, content saves to sort of spoil it. I'm sort of using the, the live stream series now as a little bit of a scout ahead know what I've got coming. Although I might play the maps in a different order. So it's not exactly the same. But I'm still not decided on whether we play the hard mode series in release order we jump around on the stream series or whether we jump around here and play the other three or whether we jump around on both of them but just not doing the identical order. I'm torn as to what to do. Grab a little fuel out here. Why not? It's not a lot in there, but we don't need a lot. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Thanks for coming back and joining us. Had some, some quite productive episodes lately, which is nice. Not too many mistakes happening. 
which leaves us open for mistakes every every time we go without mistakes means that the next mistake is just that little bit closer that's how I see it and I was really hoping last time not to have to to get the what am I supposed to we didn't necessarily have to get the West White, the White Western back through. We could have, I guess, taken the P16 up and changed the hitch on the back of that, and, and what have you. I guess that could have been an option. I want to try and save the P16 now for the the login jobs, the the long logs especially. We might use other trucks for medium logs. We'll probably set one truck up just for the log loading and have that there. And then have other trucks with the uh, with the log carriers set up and we'll load into them. And that'll probably be the, uh, the easier option. Again, that, that is some way off. Some way off. We've got some big jobs to do. That are no doubt going to take me multiple, multiple days to uh, to get done each one. We may even look to do the cement job and the soup order together. Because they should unlock together, I think. So we could do them together. So when we load our trailers up with the cargo for the super order, we, if, the, if the trailers are large enough and have the space, we could put the cement on that we need for whatever locations to go to as well. That might be a thing. Or I might just load up two trucks with the cement and send them off in uh, different directions. I'm thinking for when we have to go through to places like Black River after like to go through and come back, to go through and come back again. I'm starting to think about the fuel you see. <laughs> so there might just be that one that gets done that way. on the suspension but you don't have to be uh, changing tyres again now I want to just check if we have any upgrades for the White Western I'm not sure if we do or if we've unlocked any through leveling up. I can't recall the last time that we checked what was available for her. So if we just come in, I just want to have a little that's in that's what I was saying. I was wondering about the engine. Well, clearly we've not got it. The tires we're happy with now, aren't we? The winch. Now I keep I keep swapping out these winches, they are expensive. Wondering whether I should do that at all. I'm going to put that on though, and we'll sell that. I was going to take the crane off for a weight thing, but I think we'll uh, we'll leave as is. Uh, 
that'll just do us. Do us the last before we get the engine. I just wasn't feeling as powerful as we as we should. But no, that's right. Our friend Rusty has pointed it out before. The trouble is I'm running too many different saves that I do get them confused as to what's happening on which one and what upgrades we've got. Like I say, if, if I've been to Alaska already and everything has those upgrades elsewhere. But not here. I think next week the uh, the the, the pre-uploaded so I'll give the words out there, the pre-uploaded Twitch live streams run out. So I think next week is when we'll start streaming live our live stream series over here on on YouTube. So if you uh, if you've never caught us live because we're on Twitch, hopefully you'll. Uh, well, I need to make sure we're loading on the platform. There we are. That looks like it's going to be a bit weighty, to say the least. Oh no, it's light. Let's get the packed away. Yeah, it does require the five. I was pretty certain it did. I've done it enough times, I should remember, but my, my memory is absolutely appalling. It has been nicked by a viewer or two that I... Uh, <laughs> I look in my map, and then <laughs> two seconds later, I drive the wrong direction. This is a thing. I have, <laughs> I have zero recall. It's almost pointless me looking at my map sometimes. After this job and this delivery, it might be a case if we, we try and collect up some of our vehicles and get ready for those other jobs. See what's about, what we need to move around, what we need to collect where, that sort of business. Obviously, the uh, the pallets of cement bags we get from the quarry, and I like to uh, go in and out of the quarry with the Fleet Star just because it's it's a little bit shorter and nimble. So we need to bring that through. I think we'll want the Twin Star for at least one of the deliveries. We'll run that about. The White Western. That's going to be making its way back through to Drummond because that's what we'll be collecting from the uh, the shipwreck with just grab some fuel I 
think to play it safe, we're going to go the long way round again. A bit boring, I know. Good. Trying to catch a nice little still for when we want a screenshot later on. As I try not to uh, stop gameplay, turn into photo mode. And it's not easy to find a spot where you don't have that yellow thing pop up. There it is. <laughs> Again, we can turn that off. Well, you know, I forget where I'm going. <laughs> we do have our default. Now, this would squeeze through the rocks. Here, over, over there somewhere. But then the, the trail would just be a bit of a pain in the backside, I think. So if we went through there, we, we would fit through. But I think we're just going to play it safe. And head around. See how we do in high range. See if we can save a little bit of fuel. you up there. Trying to avoid the thick mud where we can. Why won't you uh, go on that one either, do I? What are we stuck on? There we go, we're going. Turn and circle the bow in seven four seven. Suddenly, it feels like. again now that we can't use the diff. And we're heading downhill. A little bit of momentum.
cut one of the, one or two of those corners down here. Now this can be a little bit temperamental with where your trailer is when you're dropping these off, so we will try and just pop a two in. There we are. Job done. That is the final one. And that is 11,000, so that's nice. So 1,108 uh, as well in our XP. It brings us to uh, level 16. Slowly, slowly climbing through the levels. Getting there slowly but surely. 8% overall gain, but 89% of Michigan done. So we're going to get out of here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go with the uh, White Western first. Now I know we could try and you know winch tow and drive a vehicle behind us, but I just I don't have a lot of confidence in myself doing that a lot of the time. That's definitely one way that I roll trucks. Lessons have been learned. With some things I'm alright with it, but I know this route is gonna be one that's a little bit up and down as well. And normally I'd probably not worry about bringing this trailer with me, but I think if I'm going to do the job so that we deliver super order and cement sort of simultaneous, I may want another five bed. It's one of our favourite routes. <laughs> Again, normally I'd just shoot along down there, but <laughs> this, this save has proven that it's not going to allow me to do that. <laughs> so we're sticking to the track. I'd like to try and get through the rest of Michigan without another roll. Because there are plenty of rolls coming in Alaska. And um, no doubt in time here as well.
this way. As is well mentioned, no no big logistical plan, just trying to think as we drive along where I want to go, what we'll do next. If I figure out sort of what we've got and where we've got it, that's what's going to help me to, to decide what we're going to do next. That's the big factor. Drop this one here. Pop that up. Yeah, I think here. Yeah, I'll leave it here. Um, we'll turn that off. We'll jump back in the Pacific. I don't think we need this trailer, but I'm going to bring it just in case. I don't think we will. In fact, we won't. I'm going to leave it behind. We can't sell it. I don't need it. They can keep it. I knew that weren't gonna fit through them trees, so why did I try? Got the P sixteen. Just gonna want fueling. Sort of getting ready to head back to Black River. That's where that needs to go. Just gonna want the parent in a minute as well. <laughs> I think it performs better with a little bit of bit of weight on it, get a little bit more traction on it, back wheels, we've got a little weight on. No, you want to grab there. Oh, you have to grab there, won't you? That's more what I want. Where everything feels underpowered at the minute. Oh, 
Come on. It's supposed to be a beast to push through. Not turning at all though, <laughs> doesn't matter what direction the wheels are facing. It was still just going for. Oh, no, 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 I've got refuel. Crazy, crazy man. We've covered the P16 enough times, thank you very much. You never want to do that again. If it does happen, you'll have to have a look and see what the the large crane, how much that costs. Whether that would actually be cheaper than the cover of the P16 for eight grand. I mean, even if it costs eight grand, we'll have it and it'll be there for use for other other jobs. It's probably what we should have done. But we only had the uh, fleet star really on the first roll, didn't we? Not the second one, I just had everything down there and it was all gone bad. I wasn't really thinking. But yeah, purchase of the large crane. The large crane might have been able to upright up the P16. Let me know in the comments if you've uh, had P16 issues and uprighted it with the, the, large, the large crane. Uh, and we're doing parts in this trailer, so probably not a lot. Okay. Oh, we got we got parts. Nice. Like I said, we've got another one that does have parts down there, but it's you know, taking the time to go down there and grab it, and whether it's going to be worth it, because we completely recovered, or completely repaired, I should say, uh, a vehicle using it, so... I'm not sure if we hover over it, it'll tell us how many parts are in it. I think it used 800 to repair the White Western. I'm sure it's probably about 800. Something like that. And then whatever we've taken out and used to repair trucks along the way while using it. So there's probably not much more than about three or 400 in there, if that.
No, not take it through yet. I'm just going to park it there. So if we have a look. Yeah, we've got cargo from the ship, which is oversized cargo coming and then delivering it to the warehouse here, which is going to require quite a bit of fuel. Uh, the super order, which is these deliveries we've got to do to the logistics base, fuel, consumables, service spare parts, wooden planks, and then to the uh, log station in Island Lake. It's got to be fuel, consumables, and concrete blocks. And then on um, at the old house in Black River, it's uh, vehicle spare parts and fuel. And then back over in Jumbled Island, it's metal beams and concrete going to the port. Well, I think we have metal beams and concrete. In Drummond Island. And then it's got cement for the region, and it's two cement going into Black River to the town storage, two cement going to the warehouse, two cement going to the lumber mill, and two cement going to a log station in Drummond. So there's two cement going everywhere. So if we've got, uh, well, this is what I'm saying, like with um, Super Order going into Black River, we need two, so it's four. So we could do that as, as one run. So if I load up that five bed trailer with vehicle spare parts and fuel and then put two cement on the back that can go and do that run that's the sort of what I'm thinking and then the warehouse would be an easy one because it's just up there Lumber Mill and Island Lake. So going into Island Lake, again, I'm just going to super order. If Island Lake requires three, so that'd be a five. Now, I was going to run the um, twin steer back there, but that requires, f that only has a four bed, doesn't it? Then if we go back to cement. To a Drummond Island Lake, Black River, and then the warehouse on this one. So yeah, we'll uh we might try and run that as a, a, a double job where where I can. Some of them might go on its own. So to start getting some of that ready, let's have a look at Drummond Island. Come on, I'm sure this one has Oh it won't say. Hmm, I'm sure this has metal beams and cement. What did I do with some what have we got here? What was that? Was that cement? Not cement, or concrete or whatever. So what, let's just go and jump in the Land Rover. Because I can get I can quickly go and have a look at that and I can go and see what's on there. After all, that is what scouts are all about. We got ourselves some fuel. Where did I put the fuel trailer down here, wasn't it? Yeah. is fit to go now. Right. 
e poi target super order I'm gonna activate it it might actually tell me what's what it won't it won't tell me what's what will it we gotta do the Swissville down one anyway first but we can we can get the others ready because we can see what they are on the job order. It's not like preempting a job way ahead. So that's not something I'm sort of overly keen on. But we've got the order there so we can have it ready. That is slabs, isn't it? If I go to remove cargo, will it tell me what that is? Nope. It's concrete slabs, isn't it? So, what did this one for here? Concrete slab, yeah. And then metal beams. So, pretty certain. that the other the other trail around there has those things I don't think I took them off for any reason so I believe I've been doing that I've been un un unloading stuff from trailers and loading up to move it a little bit easier I think so I believe we went and had a look at it when we finally got across the river after, you know, Land Rover boat was the thing. Confidently driving this way, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's this way. <laughs> Man, don't know. Definitely looks like it's on there metal beams and concrete slabs. going to do is Let's head back to our junction point. I'm sure it all feels redundant to some of you but I just had to check. As we've, we've more than well established now my memory is not good enough. some point we need to go make an annoying trip and go and grab a 
scout fuel trailer out of Island Lake as well. But we need to gather up all the fuel trailers at some point. Probably want to start thinking about bringing stuff as, as close to uh, the dam as possible. Because that'll be our exit point from the map. Star just around here. That should be fine. Yeah, facing the right way. Fuel. Although we could, I'm thinking of other things that we could use the twin stair to go into Black River for the cement and super order and use the fleet star to possibly do Island Lake. We take a two slot trailer in tow with us. Oh, that still wouldn't be enough, would it? It's five slots. You have to put a five bed on the back. Yeah, we've got the five bed, haven't we? Yeah, we've filled the five bed up. That could be what we do. So I know the twin style would be better through the mud than the uh, the fleet style. That's, that's where the pain in the backside is going to come in. We'll fill off off the Land Rover.
ですよ <laughs> This is the easy bit. Yeah, I, feel, I have that every now and then. I have a, a bit of a session where I feel like nothing's really given me full, full beans and letting me down. Let's find some traction. I'm sure I put it up in the editing as well. Last time out, we <laughs> kept getting that stuttering. And I said, oh, I don't think I've left World of Tanks running in the background. I had. That whole, that, whole, that whole recording World of Tanks was running at the same time as well. So apologies for that. I'll probably put something in the editing. If I can find the point where I said it. Yeah, we've not got nothing else running in the background today. I think considering we had a, a, a whole second game, that is, you know, quite a demanding game as well at times. Uh, we, we ran pretty smooth, other than those little stars. Why are we not turning? We've got n <laughs> What is going on today? Come on. We're not going to take this all the way. It's just the sort of part way done. And we'll let like, roll away. No, I think that'll be fine. I think that's going to be fine there. Okay. So this needs to come through. Let's give the land over a little rub. So the next episode or two might be a little bit bit of setup rather than delivery, but we really need to be ready for it. So sort of how it's got to be. Try and get the deliveries from the the shipwreck. Sort of, it's the last of our deliveries. Maybe. And I need to think about where, where and how we're bringing logs through as to where I want to move my fuel to after that. 
entrances and exits of maps is a good idea. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly hit the barrier. Nearly. So let's see how far in we can get. We'll check the time, so see how far we can get before we have to go and do another little vehicle collection and manoeuvre around. We've got an hour, so that's like three or four minutes. We never get very far. We'll do our best. Me try to check the clock. <laughs> My IRL clock. So let's see where I'm at in three minutes' time. So yeah, not, not a massive amount done. It's a big job finished, and let's say with next episodes as well, maybe a bit a bit like this, setting up, pulling pulling vehicles through, me checking what I need where. I will forget. I will check multiple times. It's not because I'm thorough. It's just because I'm useless. <laughs> I know my limitations, so. I know I have to slow down and check, think, double check, triple check. We've still got the uh, delivery contest to do here in the dam as well. There's three of those, there's one over at the... I think we've got all three still to do anyway. We may have done... No, we haven't. We haven't even done the, the basic one, have we? The, they're all pretty basic, but... Some more basic than others. There's one that requires in-cab, which is always a fun one to do. Then there's uh, delivering from the service station to the farm. I'm wondering if that's one we've done. I don't think we have. Oh, I missed me uh, shortcut. And then there's delivering from up at the warehouse down to one of the houses in the swamp, which we can grab at any point, really. There we go. We want to go down there to try and save ourselves a minute. Should imagine that. Oh, there we go. Brings us to time. Indeed, ten minutes late, so I do apologise. This might be a slightly uh, longer episode, so I think we had an extra ten minutes at the start. But that is it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.